So the main difference between classical and quantum computers are, are several. So the first one is about the basic unit of information. In classical computers, the basic unit of information is called bit, as you know, and this bit is an exclusive state. So you can be either zero or either one in any point of time. In quantum computing, the basic unit of information is called quantum bit or qubit. A qubit can be also be in this basis state, zero state or one state, but it can also be in a superposition or a combination of both states, meaning that you can be zero or one at the same time. In order to perform computation, we use gates. In classical computing, those gates are logical operations described by truth tables, and they are not, usually they are not reversible. In, class, in quantum computing, we also have gates. These gates are unitary operations, and then they are all reversible. So that's the main difference in the, between classical gates and quantum gates. In order to make computation, we also use quantum circuits that is, consist of a series of qubits and a series of gates operating on those qubits. But the main difference between classical computing and, and quantum computing is when you start combining things together. In, in classical system, we have, for example, three bits. You have eight possible states from 000, 000, 001 to 111. And each of these states, they hold one possible value. In quantum computing, for example, you have three qubits and you combine these two qubits, you have a bigger state in which this state needs eight coefficients or eight value in, in order to be described. And on top of that, when you operate in that state, you are manipulating all these eight coefficients at the same time. In other words, you have parallelism, parallelism for free. And this is where the exponential speed up of quantum computer comes from. There are several technical challenges when you want to build a quantum computer. So the first challenge can be summarized by the word scalability. Scalability in the number of uh, qubits that you can integrate in a single processor, scalability in terms of interconnections or accessibility to those qubits, and scalability in terms of the control electronics for operating and for controlling those qubits. Another technical challenge is reliability. Because qubits are very fragile units, meaning that they, they easily lose the information just because of the interaction with the environment. So building a quantum computer means applying quantum error correction in order to make your computation fault tolerant. The third challenge is the system architecture, in which classical and quantum components are tightly connected. And finally, the fourth challenge is the description of programming languages and compilers that allows uh, programming quantum algorithms and translated in the instructions that will be executed on the quantum processor.